Capricorn, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries for Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is Capricorn energy. So wherever Capricorn energy influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies for the next seven days out. Let's get right into it. Remember, this is the full oracle card spread here. We're going to go into detail, and then we're going to go into even further detail over in the extended, that link is right below. We do a full, I do a full tarot card spread and the romance reading for the next seven days. This is energy for Capricorn. Messages and energies that need to come through for Capricorn. Messages and energies that need to come through for Capricorn. Messages and energies that need to come through for Capricorn. This is the crowning energy. Take a leap of faith is coming out in reverse, which is a pause. I don't think that this is, this becomes, it's not misfortune. It's a pause. It's a wait. It's a hold. It's, um, but it's intentional as in your best luck this, this coming week, for the next seven days, the best amount of fortune is to just stay and wait to not take that leap. Now, this doesn't mean that the offers or opportunities that are coming in are bad. There's almost a sense of if there is a delay or if this is there is a pause, if you notice there's like some sort of a lull, then nothing as bad is happening. It's actually for the it's actually it's the best thing that could happen. But also Capricorn, it's saying to you, don't jump, don't leap. The best move to make right now is to pause, wait, and to take in more information. It's almost like a cosmic stop sign. Now, a cosmic stop sign is not saying, no, don't proceed, beware. It's saying, stop. What do we do at a stop sign, right? We stop, we take in more information, we look left, we look right, we look left again, and then we proceed. So this is a sense of the best move to make right now is to stay still. And so if you don't see anything picking up or anything moving forward, or if you feel yourself not ready to leap, please don't talk negatively to yourself. Don't talk down to yourself. Know that there's just maybe more information that you need, or this isn't the right time to leap. There's a reason why you're staying. There's a reason why you're pausing. And it's not that you don't have faith or that you don't have courage. I mean, listen, We'll get into the depth of the reading, but this is the energy crowning, crowning you. This feeling of wanting to stay put, not wanting to change. Maybe this is the energy that needs to be in your face right now because this has been your problem in the past. Your, your inability to take the leap of faith, your inability or, or your, your lack of desire to uh, make a sudden change or, um, you know, just sort of <laughs> like throw caution to the wind and go. This is a sense of where has staying still gotten you? Has it helped you or has it harmed you? An analysis or yeah, a, like a getting familiar with has this energy helped you or harmed you of being really honest with yourself and saying to yourself, kisses. You okay? This is an energy of saying to yourself, my dog was just staring out in his face. It was weird, Capricorn. Where has this energy gotten you? Has it helped you? You know, what is your relationship with this energy? Review it. Maybe this is the good a good week to just review it and to say, do I act this way? Where has it gotten me in the past? How, how... How has this really worked out for me? Like, what, what is my relationship with staying stagnant? What is it? Why do I do it? You know, uh, does it give me comfort? Is it because I'm afraid? Um, has it worked out for me in the past? Ask yourself those questions because there's definitely this need to pause and review, but I think it could have this energy of... introspection let it shine and truth transcends illusion there's something that's coming up from the past a truth that's coming out that has been buried or hidden 
um, this energy of all of a sudden you noticing something or realizing something that maybe you weren't ready to handle or deal with or see. It's In other words, it's perfect timing, Capricorn, because whatever this truth was or whatever this piece of information was, you, it, it wasn't, you weren't prepared yet. And it's been there because this is scorpionic energy of things that lie beneath the surface, you know, things that live in the underworld, right? The dead rising type of thing. This is like coming back out of nowhere, something that comes back out of nowhere, but helps you illuminate something that hasn't been totally and completely put to bed. So this is a great crowning energy for this energy because it's giving you that second, that time. It's almost like there's a reason why you couldn't move on past this point. And it's going to become very evident to you in the next seven days. Um, be ready for it because it won't necessarily be an easy message. You see clearly now is here too. This is wisdom setting in and once again, a card where you're seeing in the dark. This is hearing something or somebody saying something or you yourself coming out and announcing something that illuminates a truth for you. This is you seeing in the dark, wisdom, realizing it dawning on you, it occurring to you, or somebody who's like a sage, a person who you trust, taking wise advice, seasoned advice, a guardian or a counselor coming in, and maybe you're speaking to a counselor this week and within that counselatory session, something dawns on you. It's a realization. This is four plus plus three. This is an, this is four plus six. So this is an end of a cycle, the completion of a cycle. And then this is four plus three creation, a new beginning. So this is the truth that illuminates that new beginning. It's almost like you're not going to jump. You're not going to take the leap of faith. Why? Because you need more information. You're not going to jump off of that diving board. Why? Because you know, you know that there's still some sort of murkiness in the water. Trust your instincts this week because honestly, the pause is absolutely for a reason. There's a deeper inquiry. There's more that you need to know. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see somebody seeing you. I see somebody noticing you. A keen set of eyes that would only notice a light in the dark. Or you realizing that maybe something you were told in the past or a piece of information that you discovered, suddenly you realizing why it's so important. Trust in the great mystery. Diving in deep, this is I really feel like there's something that you have to uncover. There's like diving underneath, looking underneath those rocks, diving in deep. This isn't necessarily about, this is pause so that you're not moving. Okay. You're not jumping forward. You're diving under. These are two cards about seeing in the dark. This is a card of the underworld about something being revealed that's been hidden, a truth coming out. You know, something coming out, there has been sort of some sort of deception that has been hidden in the dark. And then these keen set of eyes, this wisdom can pull it out. This is a sense of diving in deep, going deeper, making a deeper inquiry. I said it when I pulled out this card for you, Capricorn, this is a week of you, you don't want to move around. You want to stay put and investigate, dive deep, go deeper, look deeper, look farther, look harder. Look underneath things, turn things over. That's the energy of you've got to go down and, and, and expand underneath instead of try to reach out and leap forward right now. It's almost like taking root. You understand? It's like getting to know the soil that getting to know the soil before you decide to plant the seed there. It's like, is this a really healthy environment for me? Is this where I want to take root? What is the nature of the soil, of the land? I hope this metaphor is meaning something to you because there is a sense of, yes, the leap forward that you can take this week is by really pondering and understanding what's underneath, like what's deep down. Um, be fearless and bold. This is a journey, it, like literally a journey into the underworld, a journey into a places that you have put away or have ignored or have intentionally put off because it makes you sad, it makes you worried, it makes you feel alone, it makes you scared, but that's okay. You're supposed to be scared of this place. 
This is a place that you have got to go though. The only way to get out of hell is to walk through it. I don't mean that something bad is going to happen to you. I don't feel like something bad is going to happen to you. I feel like there's a lot of things that you have put away and compartmentalized that you need to dig in now and go through. And this could very well just be staying at home and clearing out the clutter of your life. Even if it means going through, you know, those boxes of, of his clothes that you have on your bed and he's not with you anymore. So you got to decide what to do with them. You know what I'm saying? You've, you've tried to avoid being emotional, but this is the time that the only progress you're going to make is a progress that starts at home and digging down deep and allowing yourself to push forward. This could also be the energy of fake it till you make it, you know, put on the Ritz, dress up, doll yourself up, make yourself feel good on the outside so that it seeps on in the inside. But it's, it's about this sense of something needs to sink in. Um, there is always enough. This could be finding resources of having to be put in a situation where you almost feel stuck a little bit and having to find resources that you already have. Use the things that you, you already have around you. Let me say this to you. This is a time of tremendous creativity. This is an exercise that you may not have wanted, but it's one that you needed to really learn and know what you're completely capable of and what your capabilities are. This test, this trial that you're going in is throwing you in the deep end. That's your central energy. You've been thrown in the deep end, Capricorn, because it's the time that you learned how to swim. This is a sink or swim and maybe sink a little bit before you swim so that you can understand what's going on underneath the surface of the water. It's not just a surface thing anymore. You, 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 yeah, this isn't just a surface thing anymore. This is also emotional because it's time to collaborate. This is also an emotional connection, a sense of truth about your relationships, digging down deep into your, your participation, how you interact in relationships, um, uh, understanding yourself and how you emotionally connect to others. Also, maybe having to, um, almost maybe having the impulses and not being able to control yourself and investigate somebody. Like, see what the fuck is up with somebody because you want answers or having impulses to find answers that are hidden and going and exploring and looking for them, even if somebody didn't want you to look for them. But there's an energy of it's because you need to know. I'm not saying that you should. But I'm saying there's this impulse of um, having this passionate, energetic drive toward understanding what drives somebody emotionally or getting information that makes you that, that starts to illuminate and makes you helps you understand <clears throat> why somebody is the way that they, they are in terms of relationships. <clears throat> there's a lot of water energy <clears throat> here that you could be dealing with a Piscean. A Scorpio, there's a lot of water energy here. Something that's hiding in the depths, something that's almost hidden in emotions or the way people behave, the sort of arrogance that people have that hides the emotions that are lying underneath. Their fear of connectivity or connection. This could be you or them, but there's an energy of the, like getting stuck in same old behavioral patterns and stubbornness when it comes to how they work with people or who they want to work with or who they want to build with, this is maybe not being ready to take a jump and take a leap into a new relationship or into a new job right now because of stuff that's happened in the past. Um, or just feeling like there's a complete lack or absence of choices, a void, like a, a big old void in terms of opportunities right now not finding a lot that you will make you feel good. So it's almost like you have to maybe find fake ways to make yourself feel good right now, like, like artificial ways right now. You know what? Sometimes you got to fake it till you make it. This is an energy of really diving deep, I think, honestly, Capricorn, into your emotional complexities and the effect that it has or how that interacts with other people. Let's get deeper into that. Turn knowledge into wisdom. This is definitely about something being something hidden that is coming out, a truth being revealed. This is full moon. I wouldn't be surprised if 
a truth wasn't revealed or something wasn't discovered in the past three days that um, was hard for you to swallow, was hard for you to accept. But take that information and use it, use it to help you rebuild and get, use it to help you rebuild and understand people a little bit better. Claim your independence to break those chains of emotional sort of um, uh, emotional responsibility that you may have assumed that were not your fault. But it's almost like Capricorn, you do this a lot. You would rather blame yourself or take fault onto yourself just so that you could comprehend something and feel in control of it. But that also puts a huge burden on your soul where you're always taking those burdens on instead of figuring out and really doing what you have to do to learn what it was on the other side that was making things happen. It wasn't all your fault. Don't own it. There is, there is some sort of information that has been hidden that is going to be revealed to you this week. Some sort of understanding or comprehension that's all of a sudden going to be like, aha, this is why this happened. And Capricorn, this is your energy of sort of liberation. Like something that hurts, something that was hidden, that that illuminates you and liberates you and actually helps you be a little bit more confident and feel better about yourself because you're not putting the burden on who you are. This is, this is, there's a lot of water energy. So there's something about this full moon in Cancer, this opposite sign from you that has illuminated some sort of very difficult area, very difficult truth for you because it's such a different energy from yours if you're from your energy right something to do with this home space something to do with your family you know there's there's just a truth that's been revealed about your family that's simultaneously it's hurting you but it's also making you understand you a lot better and feel a little bit about better about the decisions you made because it's going to actually make you realize that well, it's in other words, it's going to disable your ability to. It's going to disable your 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 ability to take control of the situation. It's going to disable your ability. It's, it's going to make you realize that no, this wasn't your fault. You can't assume responsibility for this. You can't control this situation. And as crappy as that makes you feel, Capricorn, it's also a relief because you're constantly assuming responsibility. You're constantly assuming, um, you're constantly assuming responsibility even though you have, you're not even, you're not waiting and sticking around for the truth. You just wanna keep making progress and keep making decisions so you assume responsibility, you take on the responsibility just so you can keep going. But you don't ever allow anybody else to assume the responsibility. And this is about you being forced to stay still and realize that other people have a role to play here. And they need to start playing that role. And that's something that makes you feel compromised, but simultaneously also makes you feel a little bit liberated. Because you don't, you're not allowed this week to put another piece of baggage on your back. You're not allowed. Be here now. Be in this moment. This is a great equalizer. This is about tasting the honey and allowing yourself to be in this present moment and sucking up this nectar. Enjoy your life a little bit and let somebody else pick up the burden for you. This is a Libra energy. I don't know if you're dealing with a Libra, but this is about a little bit of honey sweetness coming in. Maybe a little kiss that makes you feel a little bit happy, a little bit good, a little bit, a little bit in pleasure, a little bit joy, right? But it's all saying that the energy is going, whatever the energy, the energy that's happening this week is forcing you to live in this present moment. It's not allowing you to take a leap forward because that leap forward is usually your way of not dealing with what's underneath the surface. And that's what you need to dig up this week. And that's what you need to confront, something that you don't want to see. I think it has a lot to do with family. I thought it has a lot to do with a truth from a family, a uh, 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 something that something being revealed that was lurking underneath the surface. And yes, you're going to have to be brave to accept it. But it's also a great liberator and equalizer. Time for the beginner mind. You're starting over. And yeah, you're defensive. Okay, maybe you should be. 
This is a this is something new. Get prepared for something new. This is this is a feeling of being ready to defend yourself. Being ready to fight, getting your battle armor on. Because there's a hard new beginning coming. Act as if. What did I say? Fake it till you make it. An energy of, I think, any kind of disguises being stripped away, any kind of arrogance coming off and falling off and collapsing. Getting real. This is the energy of 14. One plus four is five. Things are changing right in your face. And it's almost like this time you see them changing. You, you were happy to ignore something before. It's almost like you could feel it was there, but you were happy to ignore it and just keep skipping forward. Well, now you're being forced to look right at that chameleon in the eye and see them change. So you see their weakness. You see their vulnerability. You see what they really are, which is something scared and somebody frightened. Somebody defensive. Somebody that uses being still to blend in and to try to make the burdens go away. Let spirit be your guide and you are never alone. Coming out as your grounding energy and this is my true love card. So this is the feeling of hearth and home and the feeling of being guarded and, and somebody protecting you and watching over you and a sense of this feeling of um, more change. Three plus two is four. Four plus two is six. This is love. Change in love. Change in how you love. Change in who you love. This is being protected. That's what this is. This is protective energy, Capricorn. Protect, wanting to protect those that you love, but at what cost and what expense? Covering up their bullshit, pretending it doesn't happen. Taking their burdens onto your back so that they don't have to assume responsibility for their own life. You're not gonna be allowed to do it this week. You're not gonna be allowed because it's time for them to get strong. It's time for them to get strong. And you, you've actually been helping them stay weak because you've been doing everything for them. And Capricorn, that's over with. And so it's going to be painful to watch them be uncomfortable, but it's also gonna be liberating. Don't feel bad about it. Hold on, I'm gonna turn the camera angle on. Hold on. A big reading, yes, lots of cards out, but this is your grounding energy, a change in love. Being protective of those ones that you love, wanting to keep them close, wanting to protect them. But you have to give over to spirit this week, that's what it's asking you to do. Trust that spirit is going to take care of your loved ones. It can't be you. It can't be you. You have to be in this present moment. It's important for you to be right here, right now, dealing with the truth and reality of A, how you participated, how you participated in this imbalance, what you've contributed. And it's, it's almost taking away, you might feel sometime over the next seven days completely powerless in a situation where you would want to just leap in and fix everything. But that is exactly what the universe is doing to you. It's neutralizing you so that you break this unhealthy pattern of fixing things that aren't your job to fix. So it forces you to force somebody else to become your equal partner instead of you doing all the work you need. They have enough. They have the ability to contribute equally, but do they ever get the chance? You know, this has to break. This has to break so it can heal. The balance has to be realigned. This is a very obscure kind of abstract reading. I'm going to see what's going on, articulate what's going on with tarot, and then do your um, full romance reading. That link is below Capricorn. I will see you over in the extended.